Hey folks, welcome back to our coverage of the 2016 Gamma Trade Show in Las Vegas. And here I am with Frank from r, &R Games. Nice to Thank be here. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And you've got some games here to show us, so uh, what you got? All right, I'm going to start you off with a lightning fast one called Swipe Out. Lightning fast. Lightning fast, okay. So as you can see here, we have some boards set up with us. Uh, it plays up to four. We're going to play it in two right now. Okay. Uh, we have a board with these chips on it, mm -hmm. okay? The object of the game is we're going to flip one of these cards, and you're going to see a pattern on, on the other side, mm -hmm. and you're going to make your board match it exactly, and then you grab the duck. Whoever grabs the duck first, obviously, will be the winner if they have the correct pattern. And Are you ready, sir? It squeaks. You ready? Okay, yes, let's right, go. Here we go. go. Swipe out. Swipe out. So... Uh, you never win this game, so you have an advantage. with me? Uh, ah! Wait, that's wrong! That How is, is so it wrong? wrong. You have wrong? this extra piece? Okay, so... Look at this! But this! Look at this! Look at this! I did it! I have it right! This no, is I didn't right. do it right. <laughs> there. So, you would have lost that one. Uh, yes, I would have it's lost, so, of course. It's so cool of you to let me win. Ah, you're but, welcome. So, that's swipe out. It's very simple. You basically are trying to, if, if you win the card, you keep it. You get three cards, five cards, you win the game. Cool. Very simple, that's really very awesome. fast. And all the cards are double-sided, so you have a lot to play with. Not, not a game that I am good at. No, neither am I. But uh, a lot of it fun, is a cool idea. Yeah. Swipe out. All right, just scoop it over and we'll get to the next one. There you go. Whoop. Moving on to another quick game. Oops. Gotta love the duck, right? I love the duck. We're gonna have pickle letter. Pickle letter. So what's uh, the deal with this one? Just deal with it. There we go. So you all you have to do is open this cool jar and we're gonna dump it out. There it goes, like that. Then you start the game. So what we have to do is we have to find matches, and as you find a match of two letters that are equal, you basically call it out, like N and N. So I take the two Ns, okay. and we just keep going. Z I, and Z. I, H, H. C and C. You're supposed to use one hand, apparently. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I was about to cheat I, there. I think but I e. am using one hand. Uh, P. There's a lot of matches we have to work um, with here. X. Uh, and you're a, scoring points for all these letters that you're picking a, up, but you don't want to pick up pickles. And there's going to be a point where we decide there are no more matches. If we decide there are no more matches, you call out pickle. E. Um, and whoever calls it out first will basically be the person who is at risk for no pickle. For no pickle. Yeah, and you don't want pickles. K. Um, R. Uh, D. Q. Uh oh. Uh, remember, if you think there's no more matches, we can call out pickle. Pickle. Ah, eh. nice try there. Oh, I was I'm setting sorry. you up there on that one yeah, because there is two V's right here. Now, had you been correct with so the, call, the call of pickle, anyway, yes, you know, okay. I'm an expert at this game. Uh, you're an expert. What if you if you called it out correctly? I would have been forced to take a pickle. Okay. Pickles are minus three points at the end of the game. Okay. Okay. However. Because I found this extra pair, uh -huh. I keep that pair, you and I get, get the pickle. pickle. I now, like of course, pickles. Though. If we have more people playing, they would have all got a pickle if you had been correct. Okay. But again, if you're wrong, you're the only one that gets the pickle. I'm the only one that gets right. the pickle. You get four of these pickles, you're out of the game. Okay. Okay. Cool. But uh, that's pretty much it. Now we would flip over ten more. All right. So we'd have more to, to, to go with, and we started over again. So you would put these back into the box? No, we just randomly just, flip just over randomly again. Flip yeah. over and then we start okay. again. All and right. then we keep going until all these have been matched, or we cannot make any more matches, mm -hmm. at which point we count up all our score. Point for each of these. These are just with three. one point exactly. each. Exactly. Okay. One point per tile? Per or tile. Per, pair? per tile. Per tile. Per okay. Tile. Two points per pair. So. That's cool. Yeah. Very simple, very fast, very this easy. be good for my son. He's learning letters exactly. right now. Exactly. Yeah. That's cool. But it's fun for adults too. Yeah. Just absolutely. as easily. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. That's Super pickle cool. letter. All right. We won't dump them all back in right now. Just scoop them in. over. <laughs> there you go. Moving on. Yep. All right. Next. Moving on. I'm going to show you a quick um, view of Spellcaster Potions. This is an expansion right. to our fun Spellcaster game. Okay. So if you're familiar with Spellcaster, this will be very easy. Basically, this adds 20 new cards to the game. Okay. So we just have kind of a prototype here. Okay. But these are similar cards to whatever in the game. They're, they're new spells, basically, in the same four categories. However, it also comes with little potions. Uh, what you see here are just uh, quick tokens that we threw in the game to mm -hmm. represent the potions, but they're actually going to be crystals 
uh, like uh, what's in the original game, that will okay. represent the potion bottles. And in order to use this, you simply take out 20 random cards from your deck, you insert these 20 and shuffle them together, and then everybody has these potions to gather okay. during the game using these spells. All right. And basically some of these spells create the potions, some of them ask for the potions to be used, and so it just adds a whole new twist to the whole game cool. by adding all these different cards. Yeah. All right, so it doesn't really change and anything a, about the game, just adds a little bit of spice. It adds a whole new new angle, basically, because yeah. the potions require potions. Gotcha. A lot of the spells require the potions, and you have to gather those potions. Okay. So, so it's just another twist on the, on the same game. Okay. All right, but, so that was Spellcaster's exactly. Potions. All right, and then you got Showdown Last over there. Last but not least, we have Showdown. This is a party game, and what you're going to have is a board, the Showdown board, Looks like that. And oh, we have wait, some cards. <laughs> Bring out the deck. And we got these tokens. Okay, so the way the game is played, there's a lot more cards in this. This is, again, just a, a sample portion. Mm -hmm. But what you're gonna have is a challenge or two. So you're gonna see a challenge that shows up here and a challenge that shows up here. And for this one, we have best dressed and unluckiest. Okay. okay. So we are going to vote uh, and we have uh, some cards in our hand that are people who are the contenders. And the contenders are all different people. I mean, they're the Lorax, Clifford the Big Red Dog, Dorothy, Little Red Riding Hood, etc., etc. Okay. You only have a portion of these, maybe four or five in your right. hand. And I have some and he has some and so forth. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is try and think which category would be best for the contenders that we have in our hand. Okay. So uh, we vote, and we all have these little voting chips that are basically orange on one side, blue on the other. And we just hold it down like this, reveal. And the majority, uh, this will be a blue box, this will be an orange box. We never even finished this part. But gotcha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, sort of as you see here, it has the outline of the blue mm -hmm. and the outline of the orange. Right. But at any rate, one of these will be chosen. Let's say it was unluckiest, okay? Mm -hmm. So this goes away. It's gone. Right. So now what we do is we all are going to place in here, uh, face down, some people that we, uh, let's say we're playing with uh, five people. Okay, so we have five contenders in here, and then you get five more that you can put into the B box, okay? okay. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna take all of these contenders, these are the top contenders, okay? And then we're gonna get some of the B contenders, and we're gonna shuffle them, and we're just gonna add to here, we need three more, one, two, three. Okay. These two go out. They're, they don't get in. So All some right. people, three people, have two contenders. The rest of us only have one. Gotcha. Okay? Um, you, for example, this is your contender. It's the only one you got in there. Gotcha. Right? So you are very interested when this, this guy comes out because he's going to be the one that you want to win. Mm -hmm. So we, now we just put them in order. <clears throat> Mr. Rogers is going up against Clifford the Big Red Dog. Uh, Babe is going up against Little Red Riding Hood. Dorothy is going up against... Kermit the Frog. And finally, we have the Lorax against Snoopy, Chrissy Red Baron. Okay. <laughs> so, we're going to start at number one, go through number two, number three, number four. But before we do that, we are going to place our bets. So, we all have these little tokens that have the numbers on them. Mm -hmm. And everyone has their own color. So, I might have the blue, you might have the, the white, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is place some bets on who we think the number and these are going to be basically numbered. You can't see them on here. Because okay. We didn't so who's going to be semifinalist? Who's going to be semifinalist? Who's going to be the final? And who will be the champion? Okay. And I would do the same, basically. I would right. just basically randomly put mine on there. I'm not randomly doing it, but I'm betting on who I think will get to those. Okay. okay. At this point, we start with the first one. So we all have these betting tokens, and we are going to do a bet. Vote, voting token? A voting token, yes. Okay. So we're going to vote on who is going to win, who is the most unluckiest between Mr. Rogers and Clifford the Big Red Dog. So mm -hmm. This is a no-brainer, obviously. So this is the blue, this is the orange. So just out of curiosity, you, you get a, a voting token. Let's just vote, and we'll do a random vote for the third guy So uh, if I want Clifford the Big Red Dog, I, it's I, blue. I, I right. do my blue side. Exactly. Okay. So who is the most unluckiest? Are you ready? Yes. All right, there we go. There's the vote. Okay. So look, we had two for the blue, one for the orange, so he's out. Okay. He fails. He's going to advance, which immediately is going to score here once we find out who the finalists are. Okay. So once we have all the finalists, we will score this one. Interesting. Right? And there's a little scoreboard on the side. So this is like a bracket. It's a bracket, exactly. Huh. Now, there is one thing that we didn't say, and that is because I don't have the piece, but there's a little fist in the game, okay? 
This is called the POW token. Whoever starts with the POW token. The POW token? The POW As token. Like POW. POW. Exactly. They can actually. I like it. They can actually basically throw that POW in there and say, no, I'm, I'm going to break a tie. Okay. So if, for example, there was a fourth <coughs> bid here and it ended up like this, mm -hmm. the guy with the POW token says, well, Boom, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break that tie. So his huckleberry is going through. He's going to pick which one is the winner. Gotcha. Okay? And then he passes the POW token to the left. So it's going right. to move around as Whenever people... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Multiple chances. Yeah, exactly. I got you. This is the whole game. You're basically just trying to see who wins each different one as they move in advance. We score that particular one and move okay. along the scoreboard. Gotcha. As these move up to the final, we score the final. Then we score for the champion. The difference is you will get points if your contender also reaches to the champion. Okay. So if you, Babe was yours, you would have got to, was Babe yours? No. no. It wasn't mine either. So it was, we both uh, lost that one. You but already it, put him away. It was Mr. Rogers. Oh, really? Mr. Yes. Rogers. Oh, he failed. Wow, he was, was very bad unlucky. Choice. He's very I'm sorry. Unlucky. I'm really sorry. Anyway, that's Showdown. Very simple. A lot of laughs, a lot of cool characters in the game, and really funny challenges. Okay, so what's uh, what's your time frame on this one? Uh, this is all, all of these are coming out in the next two months, basically. In the next two months, yeah. all of the ones that you've shown. All the ones that you've seen here, they're all okay. going into production right now. All right, and you're going to be at uh, most of the major conventions this year, I'd imagine. Every one of them. Yeah, you're going to be there. We'll be at Dice Tower. We'll be at Gen yeah. Con. Cool. You name it, we're there. All right. Well, thank you, Frank. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thanks for joining yeah. us. No problem. And thank you guys for joining us as well. We'll see you on the flip side, folks. <laughs>